Today I'm going to be tying an Alexandra wet fly. Now the thread you could use is 801 black and the hook is a Kamazan, it's a B170 size, t uh, size 10. Put the thread on out the eye. And we're just going to work our way back. Just take it back quickly. And stop. When you let go of the bobbin, the thread sits in line with the barb. Remove your waist piece. Now, this is just a, a goose shoulder. You can see where I've been taking some of the fibres from. Now, what you want to look for is this flat edge along the top. Once you've got something like that, just going to take a wee bit off either side. You only want it to be about a millimetre or so wide. Two millimetre wide at a push. Just come in, trim that away. One. Trim the other one. Now, what I've done is I've just put them both together to create that one flat piece. And the length of the tail, you want to be the length of the body. Now you'll notice the end is slightly pointing down the way. I'm just going to flip this upside down so that it points up, just like that. Switch hands, come in on top with a pinching loop. Put the thread straight down. Come in a few wraps over the don't want to try to advance forward at this point, you just want to keep going over the spot you've just gone over. Just go over that and over that a few times. Now at this point you can tie in tie in your rib. And the rib this is just oval, extra small. You could use small but the extra small is one of my favourite. Just to cover the length of that. Put it on the side, a few turns to hold. And then I've just got some gold, this is a uni miler, gold and silver tinsel. Meaning it's silver on one side, gold on the other. And we're going to use the silver side. So, take off a length. Now, the basic rule of the general rule when you're tying with two tone tinsels, is whatever side you want, which is the silver side here, you want to be facing the shank. So when you tie it on, it's the gold that you see. Just take a few turns at the bottom before you start to come up. They come up nice, close touching turns, keeping the thread nice and tight. What you're trying to do is just get this as smooth as you can. Now we're going to stop and eyes width away from the eye. That will give us plenty of space to tie off and tie in our hackle and then our wing. Just come in, trim the waist ends away. Take a couple of turns, just hold them down. Now, you could do without this part, but just to make the tinsel last that wee bit longer, some super glue onto the, the shank. And then start to wind your tinsel on. Just take your time. Slightly overlap the, the last turn. Now when you get to the thread, just hold it up. If your rib's in the way, just take it out of the way. Cross your thread and just tie that down. There we are. Now take away your tinsel, There's another fly's worth a, worth or so in that. 
just a wee corner there that's just sticking up, so I'm just going to rub my nail on that. And that should flatten it down. At this point, just tidy up. Go back up to the edge of your tinsel. Come round. Take one turn right out of the back. And then start to bring your rib up. Nice evenly spaced turns. Come across here with your thread. Tie that down. Now, keep it in the hackle. This is just a black hen, natural black, which means that it's not exactly black. Because there is no such thing as natural black. It's more of a sort of grey brown. But it'll do for this fly. Just tie it in by the tip. A couple of turns, fold the tip back. And go back up. Pull the tip and remove it. At this point, I'm just going to tidy up. Just do a thread right down and then come back up. Now, what you want to do is fold these fibres back on themselves. So, sweep them towards the back. This will make them lie just like the wet fly. So, that's what you want there. Just pulling them back. Come in, your finger on the side just to hold it, come round to the front. Just do that for about three turns. And you've got your three turns in, come up with your thread, a 90 degree bend into the feather. And that will stop it from pulling out. And then lock that down. Take away the waste piece. Just tidy up any wee ends. Come to the front. Watch your way back. Now that could be a good wee wet fly itself. However, to make it the Alexandra, just get two. It's a, I'll show you here. A peacock sword. This is a sword there. And I've took a, there's a right and a left. And all I've done, don't rip them off. Just cut them off a wee bit of skin. And that'll hold them together. And then, this can be the tricky bit. Just hold them. In your finger and thumb. So hold them like that. It's the underside that you're seeing there. I'm just holding them together. Put them on, get the length that you want. It should be about halfway into the tail. Come in round the side. Holding it really nice and tight onto the shank. Pinch. Keep your fingers tight against the shank. Bring your thread down. Feel everything slip through your finger. Come up again. Now just roll your fingers back, and see there's rolling back a wee bit, just so I can see it. Don't let it go yet. Once you are sure everything's sitting the way you want, just come in. Or just take your fingers away. Now this one here. Just going to pull that out. Roll the fibres together. 
there's another one that doesn't want to come out or doesn't want to sit right, just take them away. Don't spend time trying to get them to sit right because with peacock sword you never get them all sitting right. So I just took one or two out as you've seen there. Now, just sitting a wee bit round so what I'm going to do is just pull back onto the top there. Just work with it, and that's fine there. Just a few turns off. Come back up on. Now, just going to come in. Cut it really close. To come down with your thread to the front. One or two wee fibres there, just at the eye that's annoying me. Get do that away in a minute. Now, if you've got any wax, put some wax onto your thread. I've got some here. I'm just going to heat it up in my hand for a second or two. And then just run that on. Just like that. Now, one jungle cock eye, you could use one or you could use two. Two small ones or one larger one. I'm just going to use one. Split it down either side. Come in. Good couple of turns there. Oops, it's easy. Just pulled that forward and moved them a bit. Come on again. Check your length. It's fine. Put them right down the side. Run your thread down. Touching turns going down. Pull the thread back. And this will stop it from pulling out. Point what I do, just come in, trim away your waste piece. Now just tidy up, come in with your whip finish, get your thread tight, go one, two, three, and four. Take the thread away. Then just start to it's just a wee fibre off the sword there that's caught underneath the eye. All I'm gonna do with my scissors is just lift the eye up, pull it back round. Just like that. Superb wet fly for when the rivers are more safe for the still water, but you'll get the salmon and the rivers with it. Now, all I'm going to do, you could come in your varnish just now, I've not got a sharp scalpel either, but there's just a few wee bits of peacock just sitting right there. And if I had a cauterizer, you could take that away, just burn them away. It won't do it any harm like it, it just doesn't make the, the varnish sit right on the fly. But it'll do for the basic demonstration of how to tie the fly. Now, let's come in with your varnish. Just take your time. Bon. 
tarnish the head. And that is, it's not a not a basic fly. It's not an easy fly to tie either, but it can be great fun. And again, don't spend ages trying to get your your wing to sit right because it just won't. So that is your Alexandra wet fly.